Hello, I got a tree house stout here called Aftermath. That's there we go. And this year they've been doing they've been rebrewing all these old beers from the early days. So this one uh, has like I think the original growler tag as the label. It says June 6, 2012. I think they released this, yeah, they released, released this around June 6 of this year, <laughs> 10 years later. Imperial Stout, 9.6% alcohol. And yeah, they call it an Imperial Stout, they don't call it a milk stout. Um, but they say it uh, is brewed with milk chocolate during every stage of the brewing process. So I guess it has milk products then, even if they don't add just straight bags of powdered lactose. Um, but it doesn't have uh, any coffee in it, so it's just one of the few chocolate-focused stouts they have. And it's pretty strong, 9.6. Um, but they do say that it has roasted malt and an appropriate balancing bitterness. So, we'll see. Maybe it's going to be a very chocolatey, but not super insanely sweet stout like a lot of Treehouse stouts. I haven't had this one before. And yeah, it's getting, I guess, close to three months of age. But it was, um, it was in my fridge the whole time. Just didn't feel like drinking a big stout like this in the summertime. And the head comes up nice and slowly. Very, very dark head. There you go. But that head just is fizzing like Coca-Cola. I don't know if you can hear that. It's gonna die down real fast. This is why I don't really buy their stouts very much anymore is because they don't have rich, thick layers of, of creamy head. It's just this thinner stuff that fizzes out and that feels bubbly and so like uh, and doesn't have that rich creamy feel that uh, is what I used to love about their stouts and some of their IPAs still have that but just the mouth feel <clears throat> has gone downhill with Treehouse in general I'd say it smells pretty good there's a little bit of booze in there but very very dark chocolatey I don't even know if these oats or wheats or anything in this. Probably something. You see a, a complex <coughs> assortment of malts. Has a bit of a malted milk ball thing going on. And just a little bit of boozy heat. I don't know if it's an explosion of chocolate. What do they say? Of course, like, cares intense notes of chocolate. Yeah, they don't really say too much, but... I guess it is chocolate focused with a little bit of some roastiness in there, a little bit of some as as acidic quality Coca-Cola thing smelling. Doesn't smell like it's old and oxidized or anything though. Hmm. As it does seem almost like a real Russian Imperial Stout with a lot of chocolate added to it. There's that roast, there's that kind of molassesy sort of thing, dark, charred, um, French roast sort of coffee. Um, but it's easy to drink. It's, it's still pretty low in bitterness compared to most uh, Russian Imperial Stouts. Pretty good mouthfeel, but it's just like got that bubbly sort of thing that kind of prevents it from being the silky, luxurious, um, a feel that Trios used to be able to do consistently. And, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's because it's almost three months old, but the chocolate is not that strong. When you push your tongue through it, it has a really nice, I don't know what you might call chewy body, full body. But it just got... A acidic fizzy bite that prevents it from being the classic treehouse feel that I is what I love and I've been talking about this on my channel for years now that it's really the feel is what I care about so much if the feel of beer is really good the other elements are likely to be there <clears throat> unless it's like some mishandled or uh, old oxidized beer with a little bit of a slickness on this on the lips oh no it just it leaves this nice cocoa powdery quality, like Dutch processed cocoa, dark cocoa. And that's what lingers instead of like any bitter char 
which is nice. I mean, there's a little bit of that, but it's a little bit a little bit reminiscent of you know slightly charred uh, marshmallow s'mores or something like that. Well, as you can see, the head just died down real fast, and it's not even hot here, and you can't really get it to come back very well. No, it's just gonna die really fast. I don't know what it is. Why, when they ramped up, it seems like when they first opened their big new brewery, for a few years those stouts tended to have a really good head and feel, and um, just haven't experienced that. On tap, it's different. Because I think they must use a, a lot of nitrogen in their in their uh, keg system. I'm not totally sure though, or their carbonating system or whatever. I'm not a specialist in that sort of thing. It's a pretty good beer. Um, it just gets it just misses the field. Doesn't get all the elements. Um, so I wouldn't really give this over a four much.